All right, Browns fans, Rufio here. Today we're going to be taking a look at this draw play by the Cleveland Browns offense and Nick Chubb. Now, it's in the Cincinnati game, relatively early in the game, and this appears to be a great play call by Kevin Stefanski and a great uh, job blocking by our offensive line. In fact, Troy Aikman, during the broadcast of this, gave credit to our offensive line, especially J.C. Treader, uh, as did Joe Buck, for making a good block, and he did. I don't want to take anything away from J.C., uh, Aikman also kind of talked about the guys who weren't on the defensive line for Cincinnati, meaning uh, Geno Atkins especially. But that really isn't the reason the play call worked. The, the play call didn't work because it wasn't Geno Atkins. The play call didn't work because Kevin Stefanski is a genius. Uh, if, if anything, the play worked because Kevin Stefanski is indirectly a genius and he is able to trust his players on the field. And when I say that, I mean number six and number 64. Now, there's a lot of bad things about this pandemic, but one of the silver linings, at least when it comes to the Browns, is that we can hear a lot of what's going on on the field. And I just, I'm, I'm a you know, football nerd. I love that. And so it's really fun to me to hear some of these play calls, some of the line calls that are happening at the line of scrimmage. So one of the things I was able to overhear on this Thursday night game was Baker on this play making a series of calls to get our offense in the right play. Now, you may have heard him throughout the season so far saying the word turbo on the field, which sounds like a pretty funny thing to be saying. But what I believe that turbo is, is almost like Peyton Manning used to do with the Omaha call. Uh, so turbo is a word that means nothing to the defense. But to our offense, uh, what it means is basically some plays, not every play, but some plays, our snap count is going to be a dummy snap count until you hear the word turbo. So, right, Baker can get up there, he can hard count, he can do whatever he wants, he can change the play, and we're not going on this play until you hear turbo. So then once you hear turbo, now, okay, we know the cadence is live, when he says, you know, set hut or however many huts it takes, uh, then we're going to actually snap the ball. But before that turbo is called, nothing, uh, you know, in terms of the snap count is actually live. I hope that makes sense. Let me take you through what happened on this play. So on this play, we come out of the huddle and we see a single high safety showing, right? Bengals have one down in the box. And what you see both here and on broadcast is Baker's going to put his hands to the side and Joe Buck and, and Aikman are talking at this point, And so you can't fully hear it, but I believe what he's saying is kill, kill. Okay. So we can look at it from the end zone, get a look. There's a safety right up here in the box, 24. So Baker gets it up, says kill, kill, right? Kill, kill right there. And that is our signal for killing the play. What this means is that we had a run called. Baker saw this safety in the box, and he knows that we got six blockers, and they got seven guys in the box, right? So we can't block them all. So we can't run the ball anymore. So he has killed the play now into a pass. So it's kill, kill, it's a pass. And then he puts his hands up for the dummy count, right? No turbo at this point. Safety backs away. Thinking that the snap is coming, the safety backs out of there because he's got a deep half, right? And he, he can't start from way up at the line. Sees it coming. Now you see Baker with his hands going back. And what he's saying right there is rewind, rewind. That conversation for some hey, rewind, reason. Rewind, rewind. Yep. Turbo. Set. Second down and nine. Hand off to Chuck. A little bit of a delay. Good run. First down. Inside. And what that means is. We're not killing the play. We're going back to the original play, which was a run call. Okay? Because now he knows it's a too high coverage. Now we have the safeties out of the box, and we have six guys in here, and we got six blockers. So that means we're game to run the ball here. So if you take a look from all 22, you can see that a little bit more clearly, the depth of that safety. Baker puts his hands up for the snap right there. Safety starts to bail out to his deep half. Right, and sure enough, we get 21 stepping inside. He's kind of acting like he's playing man over Landry. He's going to take a step inside. Looks like it's going to be cover two, right? So Baker is using this dummy count, and he's able to get the defense to show its hand. Then he's going to call turbo, turbo. That means we're live, we're going. And he's rewinding the play. Turbo set hut, gets the snap, bail out. Sure enough, it's cover two zone on the snap. Two safeties deep. We can run the ball. Right, a handoff to Nick Chubb, and we're able to get a big chunk of yards and a first down on this play. 
Now, if we watch again from the end zone angle, we're going to see something here that I love from Nick Chubb. Uh, and I pointed this out in previous videos, setting up your blocks as a runner. So all those young running backs out there, watch Nick Chubb on this play. He sees, he knows he's got his center and guard double team 98 up to 55, right? So they've got enough guys to block 55. And as a play starts, you know, and Treader kind of pulls around, 55 is kind of playing inside. And Nick Chubb has a gigantic gaping hole on the inside. But Nick Chubb is greedy. He wants all the yards he can get. So he's going to set up 55 by faking inside, taking a couple steps up into that hole, getting 55 to lean inside, then cutting to the outside. And that allows his center to get there and set up his block and cut off 55. And now Nick Chubb is one-on-one -on -one with the safety. And Browns fans, we are going to see Nick Chubb at some point this season break that tackle and go sc score a touchdown this type of run. Because Nick Chubb one-on-one -on -one against the safety is not fair. Now on this play, all we happen to get is a first down. Chubb gets gets tripped up here. And we don't quite get all the yards we could have uh, if he breaks that tackle and goes to the house. But it's a great play. And it's using the full talents of our football team. Baker Mayfield is a smart football player. He understands what defenses wants to do to you. He understands how his offense can retaliate against that, how, how he can get in a good play. And now we are seeing a coach that trusts him to get us there. So I cannot understate how pumped I am to see this from the Cleveland Browns. Finally, we've got a quarterback who can orchestrate this kind of thing. We've got a head coach and a play caller who has the trust in our quarterback to get us in the right play. And now we're not guessing, right? Now we're letting the defense guess what's happening. And we are making sure that we are in favorable situations and we are putting our players in places where they can succeed. So that's for it for me in this one, guys. Just a quick one. Uh, again, if you're watching this on YouTube, please make sure to, to like and subscribe to the channel. It really just helps the video spread and get seen. Uh, I can see the stats on, uh, on my dashboard. So I know there's a lot of people who aren't subscribed to the channel who are watching this. So uh, just go ahead and click that subscribe button. It's free for you and just helps us spread the word, get these videos out to a bigger audience. Uh, again, I'm Rufio. Make sure you tune into dogsbynature.com for all your Clean Browns news and analysis. And we'll see you in the next one.